Okay, everybody, I'm on my motorcycle coming down from Roslyn, North Carolina, headed towards Pickens on 178, so I'm going south. And uh, you ain't gonna believe what you're getting ready to see. So stay tuned, you're gonna see trees everywhere. So just stay tuned.
know what I believe, folks? And then you might think I'm wrong, but I truly believe that God took out these trees so they won't fall on nobody. I, I, that's my belief, y'all. You can believe what you want. But I truly believe the way they're, the way I'm looking at them, the way they fell, it's like he just took his hand and went straight down 178 up here in these mountains and got these trees out of the way so they won't fall on people riding motorcycles like me or in their cars. Ain't that, I, I truly believe that. It's the way I'm looking at it as I'm riding, look at that. If these trees may have fallen and killed people, God took them out at one, at one swing. <laughs> Uh, that's what my, my belief, so y'all got y'all's and I got mine. And, and I truly believe that. And so, let's thank the good Lord so, yeah, for what he did. He got these trees out of the way so they won't fall on nobody. Look at that. Why are they just right here on this road? You don't see them hardly in the forest down there. I've been looking in the woods for fallen trees. You don't hardly see them. They're just here on the road. So what's that tag? I believe my good, the good Lord took him down. He, he did his job, got him out of the way. Look at that. See, see, look at that. Why on this? They're just on this road. If you look down in the woods, you don't see none down. It's just here on the road, 178. It's just like it. He came here and swept them all away. Got them down out of the way. Across the road, and someone come up and cut them out of the way. See that? That's one across the road. There's no telling how many fell across this road, and the people of this of Pickens County came up here and cut them down. And I thank them for that, so we can go down to 178. I'm probably about. Uh, seven, eight miles north of Pickens. I just left Rosman, North Carolina. I'm headed back towards Pickens. So I'm headed south, I guess, on 178. And I didn't know this about three years ago. I was reading a book. A man, uh, Mr. Chapman up here gave it to me. Uh, I'm related to the Chapman's Chastain loopers Ellenberg and uh, he said you know who uh, engineered Highway 178 from Pickens all the way up to Rosman I said who he said your cousin I said really I said who was he he said T.R. Price and uh, he was on the board uh, to name the town of Pickens but he, believe it or not, I researched it and uh, T.R. Price is my, about my fifth cousin. Bless his heart. He must have, <laughs> he must have, when he came up here in uh, engineering uh, this highway, he must have been drinking some booze because this highway is crooked. Woo, it's crooked. <laughs> But I'm, I believe I'm about out of all the damage back back there where all that was at. But anyway, I'll, I'll come back on here and fix any more trees down and uh, let you see it. Well, folks, I made a mistake about T.R. Price being my cousin, a fourth cousin. He was my fourth great granddaddy. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that. And I'm right here at Holly Springs Baptist Church, uh, right here in Pickens next to Table Rock there, but Holly Springs uh, Church Cemetery here is where he's buried. And uh, there he is, T.R. Price. 
He was my fourth great granddaddy. And all his people is buried here. He died in 1909. That's Ari Stewart. That would have been my fourth great grandmother. Now, she came from the uh, Stewart, so let me go up here and see if I can find her daddy, who would be my fourth great granddaddy, too. I think I'm right on that. Yeah, here, here he is. Here he is. This is T.R. Price, this is the father in law, right here, and mother in law. And yeah, William H. Stewart and Mary Stewart. They would be my, I guess, fifth great grand daddies, I guess. But uh, there's a lot of gill straps of buried right here in this cemetery. This is where my people are from uh, Chastines, Browns, Ellenbergs, Edens, Reeves. Uh, you can go online and, and uh, go to uh, findagrave.com, F-I-N-D-A, grave, G-R-A-V-E.com, and you can enter his name right there, William H. Stewart, or Mary, M-A-R-R-Y, A. Stewart, and it will trace you back to the 1600s. Uh, I didn't know nothing about that until there's a price man that lives right down this road here. He he made a he did a book about all the gill straps, Chastine prices. But T. R. Price, I wish I would have known him because it seen my great great my fourth granddad. There he is. He's laying here. He was on the committee who named the town of Pickens, and if you go downtown. At the courthouse, at the front, they, they got a marker there, and it's got his name on there, telling that he was on the committee to name the town Pickens is what it's named today. But it's right here at, as you can see, t Table Rock's right here under the mountain, but it's Holly Springs Baptist Church. And you might have some Kim people buried here. There's a lot of people buried here. But most, most of them right in where I'm at right now, they're, they're my relatives. All the way up through yonder, down through here is Price's, Stewart's, and Chapman, Chastines. Let me go up here and see if I can see my cousins. <laughs> I guess cousins. Let's see, there they are, Stewart's. Let me walk with this if I can see if they've got any names up. Okay, there's a uh, Martha Ann Dickie Hopkins. I guarantee you I'm getting to her, probably. Oh yeah, there we go. Gladys M. Gilstrap Moss. Yeah, that, uh, my daddy always told me, he used to bring me up here from Anderson, where I'm from. And we'd come up here on Saturday afternoon, he would walk all over this cemetery and point out the people that he was kin to when I was a little boy, and I remember that. We'd walk all in here mainly. He pointed out, he said, that he, did, he said, now this is your fifth cousin, this is your third cousin, you know, you know, but Cantrells, we came to Cantrell, there they are. Mm -hmm. Let me go up here and see, yeah, just bear with me. But go to that findagrave.com and enter your great granddaddy or whoever they are. Enter their name and the cemetery they buried in it, and then it'll lead you back to uh, probably the 1600s. Uh, and then I, I, I researched my people back to England. Uh, my daddy's people, they were from England. Uh, here we go. Uh, here's, here's a gill strap in Ellenburg. There they are. Let's see. Let me jump over here and see if I can see who this gill strap here is. But I came here when I was a little little boy, and I remember it. Mm-hmm. That's uh, who is that? Martha and Robert Lee Gillstrap. All the Gillstraps. My daddy always told me. He said all the Gillstraps are related. There was only two that came over here from England, Peter and John. He said we come from the Peter side. But uh, it's amazing. You'd be surprised where you, where you came from.
if y'all get a chance, come up here and check out who you who you kin people are. I bet you, I guarantee you, there's somebody here that you're related to. Blood kin, no doubt about it. It is so pretty up here. I, every time I come up here, I don't want to leave. It's just so beautiful. Man, look what a huge pine tree tore it right up out of the ground. They're right into the water here at Lake Harbor. You know, the double bridge on 24. But these trees down everywhere. <clears throat> He had to take a strong wind to pull that bugger up. I'm just wondering who they're going to get to cut that out of that water. And they uh, right up, right up here in this area here, they they're building a little little mobile home looking things buildings, probably like a one man or one woman. And I stopped and talked to one guy. They gonna put like 27 in there right now, and they start at ninety nine thousand dollars. Woo! That's unbelievable. No, I'll see if I can't get a video of it of them on the way out. Look at that. I can't think the name of this place here, but this is where they have the fishing tournaments and launch your boats right here at 20 off of 24 at the double bridges. But they always doing something every time I come down here. They always working on it. I don't know what they're doing here now, but they hope they're doing something. It's a real nice place, I'll have to say that. Nice place to launch your boat. I noticed on as you go in they got camping spaces now. Uh, over to the right when you go up. You can bring your camper down here, I guess, and camp out. It says boaters warning overhead power lines across this lake. Man, I didn't know that. Where are they gonna put them at? I don't see none. Yeah, but beware, I guess, folks. You out there on your boat, watch the power lines. I don't see any nowhere. They have to be very high power lines <laughs> to go across. But I guess they are. That's the reason why they got that sign there. Man, this is a nice boat launch here. Look, we're well, not a boat, just walking for people. Look at here, this is nice. It's just a dock. I guess it's for people who want to come to hand fish. Look up here, look how nice this is. I've been, it's been a while since I've been down here, but man, they really improved this place. Well, Lord have mercy, you're halfway out here in the water. Right, this is some good fishing here. Swimming, look here, y'all. I'm trying to think the name of the uh, place here. I can't. It's not Asbury. You know, you know, Highway 24. A few people from Anderson know. That's the first double ridges. Coming from Anderson, then the next one's on way, you know, over, over way over yonder. But I'm right here. The first is you can see it right yonder. 
And I'm trying to think the name of this place here. Maybe this guy here walking down here will tell me. Like I say, I hardly ever come down here. I live down in Broadway. That's where I, that's where I know normally do my boat and fishing. When I do do it. But it's pretty down here, but I like this. It's nice. There's a guy walking his dog, maybe you can tell the name of this. 